Okay, we're gonna take a set of digital bite wings in the Patterson software. So to get four bite wings pulled up, you go here to new exams and you're going to hit four bite wings, not verticals. We're gonna do horizontals. And you'll know that it's ready when it's blinking blue slash yellow. Okay, if I pull the sensor out, it's gonna turn red. So you need to make sure whatever system you're using, it will let you know when the sensor is present by turning some color. So when you take a standard radiograph, generally your KVP is set at about 20, but when you're taking a digital radiograph, no matter what system, usually you can actually just arrow that up or down, whatever system you have, to between six to eight, and that will give you the amount of uh, radiation that you need. That's why they say that digital x-rays are about 70 to 90 percent less radiation. So to place the molar digital bite wing film, you're gonna place it between the tooth and the tongue of course. Now as she bites down, slowly bite, you're gonna push it back farther. And you can't push it back when their mouth is so far open. And you're gonna line it up like normal. I have the center of the cone with the center of her corner of her eye for the molar shot. So then I'll go and I'll expose it. And then I'll come back. I'm gonna leave it right in her mouth and I'm gonna take it for the premolar shot and move it towards the tongue. And my cord is gonna come out over the opposite canine for the premolar shot. And I'll bite together. Then I'll take it out. And then this PID, the center of it is going to be lined up right with the bridge of her nose for the premolar shot. And then I'll go expose it, come back. Now if you can learn to take all of your radiographs while standing on one side, it's gonna be a big time saver for you. So then I'll take it out. Now make sure you look at your software imaging because it may have you take the molar shot first then the premolar. I'm gonna have you bite down and as she bites, that cord needs to come out the opposite side of her mouth to be able to get the left side canine. Then you're gonna line it up with the edge of her nose, the center of the PID. And then we'll go and expose it. You come back and then push it back to your molar shot. Now close together. As she closes, I push it back a little bit farther to be able to get the distal of the second molar. And now I'm gonna line up the center of the PID with the edge of her eye. And to get your horizontal angulation correct, if you have too much gap right here, you're gonna have overlap. What you need to do is always turn it mesially to have it perpendicular with the patient's face. And then you'll go and expose the radiograph.